All right, guys, welcome to episode 119 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description if you want and get yourself a little something. Get your dog something. Get your wife something. Whatever you want, man. Get whatever It's all you there. Want. It's all there. But yeah, man, it's Thursday. We're back. We're back. We're back. Light your J-Light, your blunt. Pack your bomb. Pack your bowl. Get your edibles ready. Your dab rigs. Whatever the fuck it is you vibing with, man. We vibing too. Yeah, all right? Yeah. We vibing. But we back, man. How we feeling today, Johnny boy? How we feeling? We just fucking chilling, man. We chilling. It's a beautiful fucking Thursday. Beautiful uh, Thursday, man. I got. I don't know, man. I feel comfortable. I'm in my little, little sweat. No sweat, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Something light. You know what I mean? Light. Yeah, fact. In the middle of summer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is summer over? I don't know. Is it? I think summer's over. No, nah, I, I don't think so. I think we're still in summer, actually. Are we? Yeah, bro. I think we are. I think we fucking are. Um, I don't know. I don't think we are. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Regardless, I don't, I don't, though, bro. Yeah, I'm not too sure, bro. Think, we I'll, smoke a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think so, we, I think we are actually in the middle of summer, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, bro. Y'all that know, go down in the comments and let us know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but listen, man. It's a, certain, it's a certain vibe, right, that you get from certain songs when you listen to them, right? And you listen to them, you're like, yo, like... I feel like that with Travis with Travis Scott songs, you know what I'm saying? And if you look at it, if you look at his studio sessions, bro, and the <laughs> vibe with his boys and everybody's turn and everybody's like, bro, it, it gives the song a different feel and it makes the artist, you know what I'm saying, like more confident in the song, like and yeah. going harder in into the song, you know what I'm saying? And like it's true it's just a vibe it's just a vibe to be with you and your homie you know what i mean just just smoking drinking like it's it's a vibe it's literally an aura like a very positive yeah. fucking aura and with the just, right people yeah with the, with right, the people. right people yeah and you're just making art bro and you're vibing making different sounds and doing different things and talking shit laughing yeah nah bro we've had some really good studio sessions bro yeah we've had good studio sessions where we just it was a brainstorming type of vibe like we didn't do too much recording and too much work but it was a good studio session because like you connect more you learn more about each other's ideas you know what i'm saying like it's a brainstorming session and then we've had really good recording you know sessions where it's like nigga we we did both you know, we vibed well, we we clicked well, and we were productive. Like, we made some heat. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's important, bro. Yeah, it's we, important. we made some heat, man. We had some songs that we put up, and we just didn't listen to it. We we're like, you know what? We're just going to leave it in the in the closet. You know what I mean? We took it out. We were like, fuck yeah, man. Let's just fucking get it. Yeah, we you just like, got to go for it, bro. We, Sometimes we let you got to go for it. Let it resonate. Yeah, you got to let it marinate a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But... At the same time, you got to know yourself too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you got to go what you what you feel comfortable going for, and and not even just what you feel comfortable going for, just what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever growing process, like whatever you want to do, bro, there's gonna be a growing process that's uncomfortable. So being comfortable is out of the window if you want to grow. But it's like if if that's really what you want to do, bro, you should fucking go for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, even if you just like just making music, just yeah, vibing, just, just like being in the studio is just a good time for me. I really like it, um, especially if it's like a little bit bigger, not just like a little closet. But sometimes the smaller, the smaller little studios is a vibe too. Listen, you know? bro, like I feel like matter. the smaller the smaller studios, or it's like it's rigged up, it's in a little closet, it's in a bathroom, it's, whatever it, the fuck, bro. Those are the best studios. Yeah, it's that's fun. where you have the most fun. That's where I get the highest. Yeah, it's weird. High, yeah, it's yeah. like you get the highest. You're like, damn, bro. It's like it's a whole different aura, bro. And it like it shows that you don't need a multi million dollar studio to get a fucking multi million dollar song done. Yeah, because. I'm telling you, bro, you could go to Migos, you could go to some of the biggest artists, bro, at the very beginning of their career, bro, like, some of their biggest hits at the beginning were made in a fucking bathroom, or like a small closet, something like that, Yeah. but it was small, like, it was like one of those type of studios, where it was just rigged up in a fucking corner in a bathroom or a closet, and that's where they made, I think, Versace, you, they made fucking you Panama a, Montana. Yeah, like, you put a blanket over your head, and you fucking and you lay that verse down, bro, <laughs> and you have fun, and facts. that's it. But yeah, bro, that's good times, bro. Yeah, good no, that's good times. times. But you know what was good times, man? The times where I found Money Man, right? I oh. remember I was I found Money Man, 
And uh, yeah, you put me on. It, it was different, bro, because I was just listening to him for his music at first and shit like that. And then over the years, bro, like he started giving out fucking game. You know what I'm saying? He really started giving out game. He started telling motherfuckers how to get their money up, how to get their credit up. You know what I mean? Like, and I just wanted to, you know what I mean? I wanted yeah. to go ahead, give Money Man a round of applause. You know what I mean? For the growth. Money you know Man. I mean? For the growth. Money Man's nice. Yeah, bro. And his music is fucking nice. Yeah. But he, I really respect him as a businessman, too. Like, he's smart. You know what I'm saying? When I first heard him, I was like, man, this dude's really nice, bro. Like, I like his flow. I like the way that he, he switches it up. Um, and he be speaking facts. It's relatable. So, whatever is relatable to y'all, you probably don't listen to. You know what I mean? But, like, it's relatable to us, you know? Yeah, I feel like everybody's a fan of what they're a fan of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it's like... If the person that you are a fan of is doing what you really like to like, do. then you're going to be a fan of them type shit. You yeah. know what I mean? He's but, smart, dude. He, he be yeah, giving out he knowledge and shit. Yeah, people just don't listen, bro. It, like, ultimately, bro, like, that you, you got to listen twice and speak once. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Yeah. Like, that, that old saying, like, oh, you got two, two ears and one mouth for a reason, it's facts. It's like, bro, listen twice, speak once. Like, these motherfuckers been there. They know what they're talking about. Just pick up the game and apply it. You know what I'm saying? And if it don't work for you, it's cool. It, it's just not for you, you know? Or try it a different way. That just I, try it a different try way. Try it in a different way. But ultimately, man, like, round of applause again to my Yo, money, money man. man. I'm a dog Yo, for show. That, uh, <laughs> he went off on internet. That, that song go hard. He went off on internet, bro. He horsepower. went off on fucking horsepower. He went off on uh, step on performance. It. He went off on performance. He went off on... <laughs> He even, uh, it's he a even, long list. He did a song with the baby before anybody knew who the baby was. He he's bro, listen, he's different, bro. I really like Money Man, bro. He's smart and he knows what he's talking about. Crypto, he, you know what I'm saying? He's a good fucking business. He's a good businessman. But fucking iPhones, bro. It's crazy, right? Like man, fuck an iPhone, bro. <laughs> my dog's mad because he has the iPhone fucking six, and I like. And it's starting to slow down on him. Yeah, bro, because the new <laughs> one's about to drop, bro, and this. I, I, it happens every year, bro. And no, I don't it does. Know, I don't know if I'm going crazy or if this happens to y'all. Just let me know. Because my iPhone always slows the fuck down before another release comes. That's and I'm like, what the fuck, man? It's just, I just fucking finished paying this bitch off. Or like, or like I'll, I'll pay it off cash. Like, luckily, I got this phone for free. So it don't even matter. But Facts. You know what I mean? Luckily, I got my this phone for finessed. free. Yeah. <laughs> Finesse Mobile, I just got a phone. <laughs> <laughs> that was Sprint, actually. Nah. <laughs> Nah, but I hate Sprint, bro. I really do. Yeah, I haven't been to Sprint since I was like, like a teenager and had no choice. Nah, I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm about to dip Sprint, bro. I'm about to move to. You fucking, still got Sprint, yeah, bro? Yeah, it's trash, bro. bro. Yeah, bro, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, don't, I bet you might as well just well, have Boost. That's why I don't even talk on the phone here, because bro, it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga will pick up and walk the fuck far away, no, far real. away as possible. Fuck, bro. You don't fucking hear nothing coming out that speaker. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro? I fucking, I'm sitting here in my room and then I, I can't talk because it's like in and out, you know. And then bro. I gotta Facetime you because, here? Of, oh, yo, I gotta Facetime you because it goes through the Wi-Fi, and I don't know why it's not going through Wi-Fi through the fucking phone. My dog got a fucking Chinatown ass <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> This nigga went to Chinatown and said, 40 bucks, fuck it, I'll take it. Nah, bro. You got the real iPhone button. Oh, um, <laughs> nah, for real. That ass. That ass, bro. Nah, man, but the iPhone's cool, man. I love the nah, iPhone. Nah, I like iPhone, bro. And you, bro, you made me switch over for fucking Android. Yeah, I, I remember. I didn't, didn't want to be that guy. For years, it. this yeah. motherfucker was like, bro, you still rock Android? Why don't you just fucking use a fucking rock? I was like, yeah, whatever. I like dead ass. I used to stick up heavy for Android. Be like, can you fucking switch your apps around? Yeah, and I remember when yeah. y'all couldn't. Yeah, nah, yeah. And you're like, I was like, I can fucking put my phone however I want. Look, look at this. Yeah. But I tried the iPhone XR. Never went back to fucking Android. I remember, I remember that I'm, day. I think I'm, I, I remember I'm that iPhone day. for I, life, bro. I actually remember the conversation when he came up to me. He was like, hey, man, like I want to let you know that you're right about iPhones and shit. And that, shit's, like, <laughs> that shit's it, bro. It's way easier to use, bro. And it's it's, a, it's sad because like women will not reply back to you unless you have an iPhone. And that's, that's fucked up. No, nah, no, nah, but it's nah, the truth. I'll, it's nah, the truth. It's the truth, bro. Like a lot of women. Ass. A lot of women, yeah. bro. I feel like it's more of the shallow women. It depends on what circle of women you That is kind of shallow. Know? 
I've that's never very shy. I'll still text her even though if it comes back green. I don't give a fuck if you have an Android or not, bro. Like, are you loyal? Like, do you have morals? Do you have yeah. principles? Like, you have a fucking Android. It's like it's like a status symbol of where, like, okay, well, I if he it. doesn't have an Apple, then he's broke. It's like yeah, having a the, fucking Honda Civic is. versus like a C class Benz. Like yeah. they're literally both the same car. They have the same small ass engine and they're fucking four door little shits. Yeah. But you're like, oh, that's a Honda. That's a Benz. Oh, yeah. it's like, nigga. Like this, they're both going to leave you on the side of the fucking The road. Honda's going to last longer. Facts. Yeah. That Honda's going to put in 300,000 miles in that 300? Bro. That shit's going to pull like a million. Bro. bro, you know how many fucking Hondas are riding around right now in Central Florida with like fucking 800 miles on that or 800,000 miles on that bitch? Like these niggas still running these cars from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, bro. They don't give a fuck. Nigga, what? Nah, bro. I've seen I've seen a YouTube video. It was like an Accord. I think it hit like a million miles. Like, and it was like still running perfectly fine. Like, it was still in good condition. I was like, holy shit, these cars are running forever. So yeah, if you want something cheap and affordable, go with a Honda. But I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. What the fuck did you write right under iPhones? <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> I'm sitting over here fucking trying. <laughs> nah, nah, oh shit. <laughs> so basically, bro, my handwriting is trash. I just want to let y'all know that and you couldn't see it. But uh, teachers are always fucking right. Oh my god, bro, bro. I don't know about you're y'all. fucking right. Teachers are always fucking right. <laughs> yeah, and it's fucking crazy. It's fucking man. ass, bro. When you're when you were a kid, kid, bro. Like I remember coming home, bro, and the teacher was dead wrong. Yeah, your mom ain't trying to hear that shit. Facts, you're wrong. You got, I got a letter. Yeah. I got a letter. I got a letter. They, had, they felt that they had to write me. Yeah, facts. Personally. Yeah. Okay, say no they more. They left me a voicemail, really? He's like, yeah, motherfucker, I'll tell you what. If I hear about this shit one more time. Nah, I'm going to fucking. Be- I mean, you're getting your ass rip off. Right? Yeah. Like, I, it, I'm getting my if ass If my mom off has right? to go to the school for anything besides picking me up. Oh, bro, 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 bro. Yeah, people. Yeah, facts. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, like, then there's going to be an ass whooping. There's going to be, like, yo, like, I don't care. Like, unless, like, they really feel, like, some type of way, and they're like, you know what? The teacher is kind of off. I'm going I'm, to I'm believe you. You know what I mean? Because they know. Your mom yeah, knows Yeah, nah, facts. You know now, mean? listen, but, man. Not, uh, to give some some credit to our moms, bro, they, not, they weren't abusive parents. Like, we've talked about it before, bro. Yeah. Nine out of ten of those ass whoopings, we really, really deserved. Yeah, we you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, facts. Like, Big we're time. just being spoiled little fucking shits. Little kid, little kid shit. When you're a kid, you're a fucking kid. You know what I mean? But you need to have some type of discipline, bro. But I feel like it's bullshit, man. The teachers aren't always right, parents. Listen to your fucking kids. Because that creates a distrust in between you guys. Because it's like, you're supposed to be the parent, the person that I come to for everything. You tell me to do that. And then when I do, you brush it off and say, nah, they're probably right. Yeah. And it's like... <laughs> All right, then how about I just don't fucking say nothing to you? I used to get detention. And take care of it myself and not go to fucking class. You remember the lunch you know detention? I mean? The the silent... <laughs> like, I'm... Not well, being silent. I'm going to be I'm talking. I'm not going. But the thing is, is that <laughs> I've I'm actually gonna, done it. I'm going to be going by third period, nah. bitch. I don't fucking give a fuck. Nah, that there, was a piece of shit, guys. No, nah, there was one time. <laughs> this motherfucker, bro. We skipped class one time, right? And we were like, yo, bro, like... He asked me, he's like, yo, bro, are you going to go? Or are you going to jump the fucking fence? Yeah, like, nah, he's this fucking and, guy and will leave you hanging and nah, out to dry. No, nah, but this <laughs> nigga told me yes for like three whole periods. I was like, bro, you sure, bro? Because I even told him, I was like, bro, you don't have to come with me, bro, because yeah. I'm going to do this anyway. Yeah. And you have a pass. Yeah. And, and I you, have a pass. he's like, no, no, fuck the pass. It was pass. a pride thing. Yeah, he's I like, like, I fuck the pass. I fucking got big nuts. I'm yeah. just going to come jump the fence with you. Yeah, even though I got the pass. I'm Even though I can walk right out the front fucking gate. Hey, I just want to do it for fun. I was like, all right, bro. So we fucking get there. Yeah. We're about to go jump the fence. I was like, yo, let's eat this shit real quick, bro, <laughs> yeah. so we could go jump the fence. He's yeah. like, damn, nigga. <laughs> I got the pass, bro. Yo, I'm out. I was like, bro, we're literally about to go to the fence. He's like, yeah. no, bro. I'm just fucking. I was like, you know what? Here, take my lunch. Yeah. Go get in the car with Jake, bro. And I left. And I got a plan already, bro. Bro, when I go around. <laughs> And I drive out to school. We get out normal. We ain't at lunch. We leaving. We fucking bust the left. We bust another left. There's a fucking like. It's right next to the school. There's like an acre of fucking woods right behind the fucking Mm -hmm. fence where you jump. And he's running. His big ass is fucking running. I get by you guys. Listen, they're just in the car. They're just thinking that I'm going to come jump the fucking fence, right? The whole time, bro. I'm getting fucking chased by Mr. Brown, a.k.a. Tebow. 
Yeah. Which I'm going to take fucking credit for giving him that name. An- another big you ass motherfucker. Saying? That nigga was taller than what I am now. Yeah. He was like 6'8. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This nigga's fucking chasing me. I'm like, you ain't catching me. Bro. And he's ex MLB. Yeah, he, he played in Major League Baseball, so he's yeah. an athlete. Yeah. I'm running from this motherfucker like, nah, this nigga's not catching. I'm sitting outside the car, and I see this guy. I'm sitting parked, like, I will say a half a mile, right right where the woods are at. And this motherfucker is running fucking <laughs> out the... All I see is a big-ass motherfucker come out the fucking woods. I was I'm like, running, bro. I was like, holy shit. And then he sees us run, and I see him running towards us. I'm like, oh, he's good, he's good. Then all I see is this motherfucking big-ass guy nigga, oh, come out the fucking woods. <laughs> Running as fast as he could to get this guy, and I was sitting there like, run, run, run. He bro, hops in the car. He didn't expect him to get a getaway bro, car, and he. If you guys would have seen the face the of face. that grown man, it was defeat, and he was so defeated. He yelled. He walked like, back into the woods. Yeah, you remember that? He, 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 no, he, he, he could have just <laughs> went on the sidewalk and walked in through the front. He's like, yo, this kid got me so bad. I'm going to just walk straight back to the woods and say, he fuck yelled, you. He yelled, he's like, got my ass. <laughs> he yelled that shit when we drove off, and I'll never forget it. It was the funniest yeah, thing like, I've ever Yeah, he's like, gooned me. That's what he said. Oh, he's he like, said, gooned me. my ass. Yeah. And I remember I came back the next day. Yeah, I didn't say too. shit. I went back to school the next day. I'm like, yo, I'm so fucked. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm so fucked. And, yo, this nigga, yo, shout out to Tebow, man. He showed love. He came came up to me bro in the morning yeah and he was like i'm gonna tell you what you got my ass <laughs> straight up yeah. he's like you got my ass he's and like i'm not gonna write you up he's yeah. like i'm not gonna make a big deal about it nobody knows but me and you but between me and you i'm gonna tell people i caught you because that was the thing between me and him he never bro on every day i love he never caught me that's why the day that I told you, I'm like, bro, if I see him, I'm running. Yeah. That was me and his game. Yeah. That was our game yeah. where I'm like, nigga, if I see you, as soon as we <laughs> lock eyes, nigga, it's like, I'm running and you're chasing me. Yeah, that, that administrator. Ask him, bro, this nigga, all... as soon as we locked eyes, what'd he do? I took off, what'd he do? He ran right past you. Yeah. He, he yeah, didn't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, he didn't care about me. I was just, I was like, all right, cool, man. I'm going to just keep walking and skipping class. But that's what I'm going to do. But he really wanted to catch him. He never nah, did. But never. the thing was is that. We always had that administrator that was like cool as fuck in school. I'm pretty sure anybody could relate yeah, to bro. that. Yeah, bro. Shout out to Mr. Diaz. You remember Mr. Diaz? He was a cool fucking guy, bro. Like, it's crazy because, like, shout out to Gio, too. We knew him from church. You know what I'm saying? From when we were kids. And when I got to Pine Ridge, he was there. I was like, yo, that's a cool fucking, you know what I'm saying? That's a cool administrator to have. Yeah. But we had really cool people there, period, bro. Like, there was a few teachers that were just like, yeah, whatever. But, like, the janitors, Pat, you know what I'm saying? Mike. Like, those those guys were fucking cool, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, like cool-ass people, bro. You know what I mean? So, take care of them, man. If anybody has, like... I don't know if you guys are going to school. You guys are in high school still or whatever. And people, you know, different yeah, ages and yeah, shit. Yeah, facts, you know I mean? bro. Like, I don't nah, know. Take ass, respect them, Respect them, man. Yeah, Respect them. Because when you get older and you look at them, you're going to be like, damn, bro, they showed love. Dead they, ass. They actually cared. You know what I'm saying? When other people wouldn't. Yeah, you know and they didn't mean? have to do that. They don't. They're just getting... If we're going to be completely honest, they're there to get a check. Yeah. Like, yeah. especially like when it came to Pat and shit, you know, I was like, bro, like you're a, you're the janitor. Like you literally don't have to fucking talk to a soul. You just go do your job, clean up, go back to your office. Yeah. Like, but he used to fucking take it. You know what I'm saying? He used to see a skipping like a group of three of us. And he used to pull up in the fucking golf cart and be like, yo, like get in before they fucking see you. <laughs> and nah. then we get in and then they stop him. Coach Kanji would be like, why are you got these? These three motherfuckers with you. They're all troublemakers. He's like, oh, you know, I went and got them out of class so they could help me. You know what I'm saying? He used to look out for us like that. And Coach Kenji would be like, all right, bro. Like, yeah. I know you're all full of bullshit, but <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you want to learn how to be a janitor? Yeah, yeah. Go. Hey, carry on. <laughs> carry on, bro. For real. That's crazy, nah, bro. Shout out to Coach Kenji, too. You're a fucking bitch-ass nigga, too, but I love you, bro. I want to get away. <laughs> I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My guy has the voice of a fucking angel. Yeah, I just I wanna, got goosebumps. I, just, I got goosebumps. I just want to let y'all know. That used to <laughs> no, be my listen, song back in the day on the radio. That shit was a great song, bro. What happened to that? And I'm going to tell you what. Lenny Kravitz, right? This guy. This guy is fucking like a superhero, bro. Holy like you shit. look up a picture of this motherfucker at 57 years old and you're like, there's no way. That guy's fucking 57, about to be 60. This guy looks like he's fucking 35, bro. 
Yeah, he's he, in yeah, shape, yeah, got yeah, fucking ripped. eight pack and shit. Yeah, I was a, watching a video of him, bro. This nigga works out on a palm tree that's fucking laying down. Suppo- like he don't give a fuck. Supposedly bro. he fucking lives in the Bahamas, living his life like in an RV or some shit. Yeah. Bro, he lives in an RV. Like he's a multi millionaire. This guy, but. The lifestyle he lives is like, bro, that's fucking amazing. I commend you. He lives in an RV that's smaller than half the fucking RVs in the United States. And he has a fucking buggy, like a Volkswagen buggy from like the fucking 70s, bro. That's something Mike would do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck, bro. But he got burned, so he's out yeah. there cooling. For real. That nigga got, he's looking like he's 30, bro, eating all the mangoes and fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. That's what like, it is, bro. You living yeah. on that island, bro, getting that, 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 that salt sun, and that the salt. salt. The sun, all that's good for you. Yo, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You got to put your feet in the fucking in, in the sand. It's called earthing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I facts. mean. You could do that like in your backyard too. Yeah, you know what like I'm saying? Dirt, but yeah, the yeah facts. Like, you know, but it's all good for you, bro. Like yeah. it's all good. It actually helps build your immune system. Type exactly. Shit. It helps with a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's good to do all that shit. You ever jumped in that ocean and you're just like, man, you come out feeling fresh? Fresh. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you take off the you like all that negativity and shit. You know, it's yeah. weird. You know. But I don't know, bro. I'm weird, man. I gotta go to certain beaches. I Dale or Daytona. Daytona doesn't do it for me. Yeah. Uh, Miami does. Miami does, but like I don't know, bro. I like more secluded pr- places. That's why I can't wait till you know what I'm saying till we get at a certain level in life, bro. Because I want a private beach. Like, yeah, that would be dope. If you don't live here or we don't know you, bro. Yeah, like you don't live beach. on this fucking island. Or yeah, because like, people are just careless too. Yeah. Like they'll go to a place like that, be like, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, eat a fucking candy bar, throw that shit on the floor. It's like, uh, nah, bro, if you don't I get the fuck shit. out yeah. of our beach, yeah. bro, yeah, I don't like, like come that. in here with that bullshit, throwing yeah. bottles in the sand and, and shit. If you, if Little you, kids run around and cut themselves. Like, if you do come here, like whose family are you? Oh, well, I'm fucking the Ricardo family. I'm gonna be like, well, all right, bet. No, bro. I'm gonna find first of all, <laughs> your name ain't white enough to be here. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's number one, William. Ricardo. My name's right. William. All right. Oh, bro. Nah, but that's what's up, bro. That's cool, man. I, I want a private beach, though. Yeah, nah, yeah. bro. Like, it might sound bougie, whatever the fuck, but it's like, bro. That would be It's beautiful. like a pool. Like, once you become a certain age, bro, you don't want to go fucking share a pool with 50 other strangers. Nah, I'm tired of jumping in pools with strangers. I, yeah. I, I got to the age where I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop doing that. I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm going to go to the springs. Yeah, I'm going to go to the springs. the beach. Yeah. You know but, what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit like that. But if you have a Rick Ross pool or some shit like that, it's like giant. Oh yeah, no, nah, yeah, I mean different. I can take a piss or, over here, and by the time or, it hits you, and fucking yeah, but I mean, bro, you have a beach as a fucking pool. <laughs> you got the sand, the yeah, sand, pool's but it's nice. Cement. Mine's just big, is all I'm saying. Yeah. Yo, let's get straight fucking Facts. to it, right? That is, bro. First of all, we're gonna start off with back to back, right? Guys, listen, I don't know about y'all, I don't know about you, but I think Drake is the best fucking artist that has come out in hip hop. Ever. I put him above Jay-Z. The only thing that, that's a blemish on his name is other people write for him. You know what I'm saying? Which, if you look at all their catalogs, they all, they've they all had writers. That's not a good enough excuse for me. Yeah, for that's not, not a not good enough great. excuse. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> so it's like, that's bullshit. That's out the window. Besides that, I feel like Drake is the greatest. Right? Me too. And I feel like Kanye needs to leave this boy alone. <laughs> yeah, before his career. That's fucking, number one. No, nah, I don't know, man. He has a fucking heavy fan base too. But the thing is, is like, it's if different. you really want to compare for like right now, like the advancement level, of how how fast he's gotten there compared to to Yeezy. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm no, saying? No, you're absolutely right. And not just that, bro. Drake has broken milestones that yeah, he's been around to break and didn't do. Yep. That like that he, the Beatles. he sold more than the Beatles. That does. My nigga, do you understand how big the Beatles was? They were global. It wasn't just America, UK, fucking Canada. Like it's global. They were big around the world. So it's like, listen, man, you got to give credit when credit is due. And Facts. honestly, it's like, it's cool to, it's cool to be the OG now. I feel like that goes back to men just having that ego shit, where it's like, bro, like it's okay to have had your moment, and now yeah. it's like this guy's having his moment. He might be doing it bigger, better than you. Who gives a fuck? Like that should have been part of the reason why you did it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Because it can't be all about you, bro. It's like once you're gone, other people are going to do what you're doing. Yep. No and matter you what. Sh- you should want to be that. be proud in the fact that you're paving the way for those guys too. You know? But I feel like he needs to leave fucking Drake alone, bro. Yeah, before bad shit happens, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? You like, I mean? Dra- yo, listen. You ever heard of Mob Ties? <laughs> you ever heard of Sycamore? I don't huh? know. 
Oh, tell me. Cut the light. I don't know, man. Make but it they, right. Man, I really feel like they're going to go back to back. Niggas think it's sweet. What happened to back <laughs> to back? Sight. <laughs> no, back to back, bro. He you shut, know what I'm saying? Like, he shut back me to back. down. People didn't think that that was going to happen like that either. Yeah. Like, let's be fucking real, bro. Yeah. Let's have that conversation. Like, it's been years since that happened. Like, nobody thought that when Drake and Meek first started beefing, like, you, didn't, you wouldn't have made me think that he was going to beat Meek. Because I'm like, nigga, what? Meek, Meek is a battle rapper. Yeah, Meek is somebody like I wouldn't want to battle. Yeah. Like, he's... But it's chess. So and the boy, the boy proves it every time, bro. Yeah, the boy back, proves back it every back, time, bro. bro. He's a chess player. Everything is calculated. They're talking about... Everything. They were, they were talking about... There was an interview with Meek Mill when he was just like, yeah, man, I, when I, first time I met fucking Jay-Z and shit, or the first couple of times we started hanging out, I fucking hopped in his car and shit, and then he had back-to-back playing. And, and 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 he forgot, and he he was like, "Oh shit!" Like, <laughs> but like he listen, was, it was a hot song regardless yeah. of whether it was a diss or not. And yeah. I think that that's what made it even better. Yeah, because it's it like, got his ass good, bro. It's like, like, bro, like there's literally you think like it didn't have to be a diss. What you think that's gonna happen between Kanye and Drake? I feel like it. I feel like it's a finesse, honestly. Like I'm just talking shit. Ultimately, bro, to be real, I feel like they're under the same label, and they're just finessing the people to get more sales for both, so that the label could win, they could win, and everybody's winning. So they're under the you know same I mean? label. Yeah. Really? Yeah, bro. There's only like three real, real labels like in the game. It's like Sony, um, Def Jam, and like one other one that are like all these other ones. Are umbrellaed under them, so they're not like they're labels. Yeah, but they got they're assigned to them. Oh shit! So it's like those labels that are those three labels. They have control, nigga. They have Eminem, Drake, Lil Wayne. Like those are what they have. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like it's just a di- it's different levels. That is crazy. It's different levels. That's ridiculous. But, hey, listen, man. Ultimately, bro, guys, y'all go down in the comments and let us know what y'all think is gonna happen with this Kanye Drake shit, man. No, nah, you know I, I don't know, man. We gotta, I think they're both going to drop fire. That's I, I, what I'm saying. I think that Kanye is a better producer. Of course. I don't think Drake produces. Yeah. I like he has he, he has 40. Yeah. He's not a producer. Yeah. But that's why you got to know your lane. Yep. Like, you, you try yourself. to do too much in too many areas. It's like, bro, focus on what you're good at. Like, focus on that one thing you're good at, bro, and be great. That is. You, you got to be I'm great saying? at it, bro. Whatever you do, you got to be great at it and find your lane. You just, yeah, you were just talking about that shit. Yeah. yeah. Big facts. Big facts. Yeah, but listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description if you want. Get yourself some merch. Get your dog a little hoodie. Get your wife a t shirt. You know what I'm saying? Support if you want. You know what I'm saying? If not, just hit that like button and hit that notification bell. Yeah. You know what I mean? That is. Like that shit. But listen, man, peace and love. We appreciate everybody. Catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love.